guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is all about the battle of the beauty blenders. Now I've got two beauty blenders here. The iconic beauty blender that we all know and love. This is the $28 Canadian beauty blender that you can buy at Sephora versus the $2 beauty blender that you can purchase at Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store that we have here in Vancouver, Canada. You can see as a side-by-side -side comparison, the Daiso one is definitely a lot larger than the actual beauty blender itself, and these are both dry. And it's a little bit more dense, so it's more firm and it's not as soft as the beauty blender. This one is gigantic. When I test how dense it is, they're quite similar. It's not bad. So let's see how well these two do with foundation and concealer. I'm gonna let you guys know my final thoughts as soon as my makeup routine is done. On this side of my face, I'm gonna be using the regular Beauty Blender, and on this side, I'm gonna be using the Daiso one. Alright guys, so first impressions, I have to admit, the Daiso side is comparable to the Beauty Blender side. So honestly, so far, this is doing pretty well against this. But I'm going to try some concealer, I'm going to see how well this one does in comparison. So let's talk about the Beauty Blender dupe from Daiso. What did I really think about this product? I am quite surprised. At first I thought that this would be really firm and too hard. After wetting it with water, it feels really soft in comparison to the Beauty Blender. Like it's feels quite similar, surprisingly. And what I really liked about it is the cost is so affordable in comparison to this one. This is two dollars versus twenty-eight dollars. You're saving a lot of money. And like look at the bottom. The Daiso one really didn't soak up much product in comparison to the original Beauty Blender. The only con that I could really say about this is that because this is so large in comparison to the original Beauty Blender, when you try to do your under eye, it's a little bit more difficult with this. Other than that, I think that this product over here did an excellent job blending out foundation, concealer, and it was very comparable to the beauty blender side so if you guys are looking for a pretty good and affordable dupe for the OG beauty blender run to your local Daiso if you have one in town and grab this one over here I highly recommend it thank you guys so much for watching my video today and I hope you guys really enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time bye